Hi, in this video I'll tell you about the OpenSprinkler B shield for Arduino. It's an open source circuit board that plugs into a standard Arduino and can switch up to four independent sprinkler valves. It's an easy and low cost solution to transform your Arduino into a flexible sprinkler controller for gardening, lawn watering, plant and flower irrigation, hydroponics and other types of watering projects. You can also stack it with other shields to create sensing-based or web-based sprinkler control. The shield is specially designed for battery-operated sprinkler valves, such as these ones. These are also sometimes called latching solenoid valves or bistable solenoid valves. These valves are different from the typical 24 volt AC sprinkler valves in that they have polarity. Each valve has two wires that are colored differently, typically in red and black. Uh, or at least the valve comes with a special plug, such as this orbit valve. In contrast, the 24 volt AC sprinkler valves, such as this one, have two wires that are colored in the same way and have no polarity. They are very common in underground sprinkler systems. The control mechanisms of the two are also different. 24 volt AC valves require persistent voltage to remain activated, so when they are on, they draw power continuously. Latching solenoid valves, on the other hand, only draw power when you open or close the valve. Internally, the valve uses a latching solenoid. Apply an impulse voltage in the positive direction. The valve opens. Reverse the polarity and the valve closes. So the valve doesn't draw any power at all if it remains in the same state. That's why they are very efficient and suitable for battery operated controllers. The Open Sprinkler B Shield kit includes a pre assembled circuit board with a screw terminal blocks. To use the shield, you will also need an Arduino and up to four uh, latching solenoid valves. These are not included in the kit and should be uh, purchased separately. If this is the first time you are using the shield, please take a look at the user menu, which contains all the information you need to know about the shield. Also, you should download and install the OpenSprinkler B Shield Arduino library and upload any of the provided examples, such as the simple test example, to your Arduino. You should do this before you plug in the shield to prevent the pre-existing program on the Arduino to potentially cause uh, issues uh, for the shield. Next, plug the shield into Arduino. There is a power selector here, which you can use to choose between uh, the internal VCC as the power source or an external power source, such as a battery. You can start by using the internal power source, but if you find that this causes the Arduino to reset, you should use the external power source. Now technically the shield has a built-in uh, voltage booster which can generate a high voltage required by the latching solenoid. The voltage booster needs to momentarily draw a few hundred milliamps of current from the source. And this may trigger the uh, protective fuse on some of the Arduinos. When this happens, you should select the external power source, and there is an external power source pin here, which you can solder a wire onto and connect it to the positive pin of your battery. There are four independent valve ports on the shield. They are marked A, B, C, and D. Each port has two pins, named Set and Reset. To wire a sprinkler valve to the shield, if your valve already comes with stripped wires, you can just insert the positive wire, typically colored red, into the set pin and uh, the negative wire, typically colored black, to the reset pin. If your valve comes with a special plug, such as this orbit valve, you can prepare two uh, stripped wires um, and insert one end to the, uh, the special plug uh, on the valve 
and the other end to the set and reset pins on the shield. Typically on a special plug, the top pin is the positive and the bottom pin is the negative. If you happen to get reverse action, for example, opening the valve actually closes it, just to switch the order of these two wires. Now let me show a few quick demos. The first one is a simple testing program which opens and closes each valve in turn for a few seconds. Um, and so here I have connected four separate valves um, and uh, I have uploaded the uh, simple test program uh, onto the Arduino. And uh, let me plug in the shield. And then now let's plug in the power. So you can hear uh, from the cl uh, clicking sound uh, that the valves are being opened or closed. So first one, second one, that's the third one, and this is the fourth one. You can also power the Arduino with a battery. So here I have plugged in a 9 volt battery pack. And again, you can hear from the clicking sound that the valves are being opened or closed. Okay, so now I have moved uh, outdoors so that we can see some real water actions. So here is uh, the Arduino and the uh, Open Sprinkler B Shield, uh, driven by powered by a, a nine volt battery, and I've put everything in this uh, plastic box so that it can prevent, uh, avoid some um, accidental water splashes. Not a real waterproof solution, but you know, just a quick setup for demonstration. And here I have three uh, separate valves um, and connected at the end of this garden hose. So you can see that it's basically running the uh, testing program which opens each valve for five seconds and then move on to the next valve. So this just shows a very simple um, test program. You can extend the uh, functionality of the Open Sprinkler B shield by stacking other shields such as a Wi-Fi shield or Ethernet shield. So this way you can uh, provide a web-based uh, control interface or you can uh, add additional sensors like soil moisture sensor or motion sensor or light sensor uh, so that you can use these sensors to trigger uh, uh, sprinkler or watering events. When stacking other shields, it's very important to figure out the pins that are used by the other shields because the Open Sprinkler B already uses um, quite a few number of uh, digital pins and, uh, and two analog pins um, so if there's a conflict uh, of the pins uh, between the shields, um, you should find this out. And, um, so for example, the Ethernet shield uses pin number 10 uh, for the chip select of the Ethernet controller. And the pin number 10 is also used by the uh, um, uh, Open Sprinkler B shield for the set pin of uh, port D. And so when you stack them together, I suggest that you leave the Open Sprinkler B shield on the top. Uh, and then uh, if there's a conflicted pin, you can uh, either cut that pin out or simply bend the pin uh, so that when you insert it into the uh, Ethernet shield, uh, that pin is uh, left out. So this way you can avoid any pin conflict that uh, can potentially cause issues. So one of the provided examples uh, in the Open Sprinkler B Shield Arduino library uh, is this uh, web web control uh, program. Uh, it basically uh, makes use of a standard uh, Arduino Ethernet shield to create a very simple web page with three buttons, and uh, so you can easily switch on or off a station. Um, by just using these buttons. And you can also use uh, this type of uh, wireless adapter 
that's plugged into the Ethernet uh, jack to uh, provide a wireless interface. Okay, so here we are again outside seeing the real water actions. Uh, and uh, so here is uh, the, my Arduino with the Ethernet shield, with the uh, Open Sprinkler B shield. And then I am using this Wi Fi adapter to give the Ethernet shield a Wi Fi interface. Um, and uh, so here is the basic, here is the very basic web based control. So here, if I click on a button, you can see that uh, it turns on the second valve. And let's see, we can close the uh, first valve. Um, let me bring it a little bit closer so you can see the valves and uh, the web browser in the same screen. So now let's see, turn on the third station and turn off the second station and turn on the first station again and all three stations on and now let's turn all the stations off and And then last the station also off. Okay, so that's the demo. Okay, so that's all for this video introduction. To find out more about this project, please go to b.opensprinkler.com. That is b.opensprinkler.com. -E and here you can find out uh, you can find the user manual um, and also links to the GitHub uh, repository. Thank you for watching this video.